Buongiorno, I'm Rick Steves. I'm in Milan. I'm working on my guidebook to Italy and I'm at a little tiny museum. This is the Museum of the Risorgimento. Risorgimento. Buongiorno. Risorgimento. And uh, quanto costa? Uh, is free. It's free. Free. That's good. Free. I'm going to go see yes. it. Ciao. Ciao. Okay, so what's really amazing to me is I've got to come to see these museums to make the book up to date. And in the current edition of the book, I say it cost five euros and there's no English. So I come this time and now the museum is free and the museum has English information. And this is just, for me, delightful because we can see in a museum like this the history of the unification of Italy. I mean, it started with Napoleon. Napoleon, when he was planting the seeds of freedom, and then people in Italy that was divided up by so many different powers, they started getting this appetite to, to, to assert their freedom. And here we see the stirring heroes of the Italian unification movement, uh, Cavour, uh, Mazzini, uh, Garibaldi. And these are like the George Washingtons and Thomas Jeffersons and Nathan Hales of our country. And it's important to remember that in the 1850s, there was no Italy. There, there was no Germany. These were just little countries divided up. I mean, this was Italy in 1850, right? There are all those little petty countries. And the big dynasties did not want it to be united. But with lots of fighting, Italy finally did get it together. And to come to a museum like this that is now free, it's free and it's described in English, is a beautiful thing. So this is uh, the importance of writing a new guidebook and the importance of being inspired by the story of Europe. Happy travels.